What's going on, Flick Cards and Cards, and welcome back to another video. My name is Creek, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Howling Moon mod for Minecraft version 1.8. Alright, so the Howling Moon mod, uh, essentially the werewolf mod, allows you to transform into a werewolf. It is super awesome. I was browsing the forums, I saw the mod, I'm like, oh my god, I gotta do a mod spot on this. This is amazing. But, um, before we hop right into the mod, I do want to point out that the mod does come with a guide. You spawn with this, or alternatively, you can craft it with a book and Wolfsbane, which is a new flower that the mod adds. And this book goes over pretty much everything there is to know about the mod. We have uh, the werewolves, we have how to become a werewolf, the werewolf mechanics, the stages of a werewolf, their abilities, all that good stuff. We also have, uh, let's see here, the potions that the mod adds, the charms, the wards, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Just read the book, it is really worth it. But, uh... Starting off with, there's two things you're going to want to know about this mod. Let me go into creative mode and actually get these guys. Oh, wait, I already have them. All right. So this is a werewolf. These guys spawn at night under the full moon. Which, uh, under the full moon. There we go. And then this is a dire wolf. And these guys spawn not necessarily at nighttime, they will spawn at nighttime, but they can also spawn in caves, under cliffs, anywhere that it is dark. I'm just gonna go ahead and kill these guys because they're really annoying. Take this guy out. There we go. You'll notice they have quite a bit of health. This is a diamond sword, and they just they just sat there and took it like it was no problem. Uh, so do keep in mind that they are kind of powerful, so don't just go up with a wooden sword. They're probably going to kill you. But um, how you become a werewolf is you need to get hit by one of those. So just let them hit you, and it will give you the lacan... How do you pronounce that? Lacanthropy. Like, it's right there on the screen. The, the werewolf disease, right? And then the next night, you will transform into a werewolf. Now once you're a werewolf, you can press L to transform in and out at will. I'm actually going to survival mode so you can see the UI here. And uh, this is the werewolf UI. And transforming actually gives you the hunger effect. And it actually says your hunger was not sated, the beast within is hungry. So what happens is you have to go around, kill stuff, you're super strong, you run a whole lot faster, you can jump a lot higher, you take reduced damage, Look, look at this, that was, that was bare hands right there. Bare, bare hands for two-shot stuff. Two-shot animals, skeletons, creepers, everything. It's amazing. And uh, what we need to do now is we need to eat because... I'm, oh, 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 ran faster. Oh, check that out. Oh, so ran faster. And as you kill things like defenseless bunnies, pigs, monsters, and consume more and more meat... The bar above the hunger bar will actually grow, and that is the savagery bar. And the savagery bar, oh man, check that out. Do you guys see that? That was just amazing. But the savagery bar, oh, well, we're gonna actually make it daytime so these guys go away. Or we'll make it uh, peaceful, there we go. So, savagery has multiple abilities with it. So, there's five stages. Uh, stage two, as this fills up, you get a leap ability, you get better armor, animals run in fear, Stage 3, you get night vision. Stage 4, you get scent tracking. Stage 5, you get uh, regeneration. Now, there is a negative effect to savagery, and that is that you get hungrier and hungrier. So, as that bar fills up, you're going to have to eat more and more and more and more, or else you will start uh, losing health and dying. Now, something I just realized that I thought I would point out is the extra health bars in the bottom left, that's actually because of the Mind Strapulation 4 mod. This uh, mod itself does not affect health in any way. So if you're wondering why I have 20 health bars or uh, hearts, that's because of the Mind Strapulation 4 mod, which I also have a mod spotlight for. I'll have an annotation into the video. That was an awesome segue. Awesome segue. Now, as far as the abilities of Savagery goes, you have uh, the first one, which is How, which you activate by pressing Q with an empty hand. And that will How and attract the attention of nearby werewolves. Think of it like a, a mating call for werewolves, right? 
Except it's not exactly a mating call, because that's that's not exactly possible in Minecraft. That would be very, very weird, and we're just not going to think about that too much. Now, the other abilities are Paw, Leap, Night Vision, Scent Track, and I do believe that's it. That is it. And those uh, you gain access to as you increase your Savagery level. Now, I'm not going to go over all of those. You guys can have fun with that on your own. Again, highly recommend downloading the mod. It's, it's great. But uh, with that, I do believe that is all there is actually with savagery and being a werewolf. So now we can move on to the potions. Hello there, potion seller. It is I, the werewolf. And today, we're going to take a look at your calming potions, potion seller. <laughs> All right. So let's mod adds in three potions. Uh, the first one is the calming potion. Uh, and then we have the savage potion. And then we have the Wolf's Bane Potion. And to get a really specific idea of what these things do, because I actually honestly forget. Uh, oh yes, Wolf's Bane Potion can cure a person's werewolf infliction. If a non-werewolf consumes the potion, they will gain immunity to the infection. And then consuming it again will remove the immunity. This potion is poisonous, alright? The Calming Potion calms the beast within, lowering one savagery level. If a person is infected, but not yet a werewolf, it will remove the infection. So that way, if you get hit by a werewolf, but you're like, Oh crap, I don't want to be a werewolf. Drink the Calming Potion, you're going to be okay. And then we have the Savage Potion. A potion that calls out the beast within, increasing one savagery. And you can also use this in creative mode, the Savage Potion. And it will automatically transform you into a werewolf, and then you don't have to go through the whole... Uh, let me get bit process. You just instantly become a werewolf. Now we also have charms, which are objects which are hung under a block that brings positive effects to werewolf players near them. They're great on servers. So to start off with, we have the charm base here. And actually, it lists the crafting recipe right here. Fantastic. So here's the crafting recipe. And uh, this is the basis for creating charms. It doesn't do anything, but you're going to need this to make other charms. And then this is the calming charm. And this slowly reduces the savagery of werewolves nearby. So if you have a lot of, you know, werewolf players, you're like, bro, calm down. Don't be so savage. You can throw this under a tree, and they're not going to be so savage. It's fantastic. And then we have a savage charm. So maybe you're like, bro, you need to savage it up. Savage it up, man. You can throw this under a tree. You're going to be good to go. I think I've said that like five times already, but, you know, words, right? Throw it under a tree, and werewolves are going to be going crazy. And then finally, we have the sad... Satian, Satiat, Satiatan charm, which is a charm that reduces the hunger of werewolves nearby. So you can throw that down, and werewolves, they'll just stop being hungry. It's like a giant Burger King meal, as if it's telepathically transmitted to them via their mind. It's great. And then this is what the charms look like we have a Satiation charm. A comic charm and the savage charm. Moving right along though, we have wards, which are objects placed on the ground that offer protection against werewolves. They have three different modes that can be toggled by right clicking them with a stick. So first off, we have the ward base, which has no effect. It can be placed, you know, you, you get the idea. Same as the other basey thing that we did. It's hanging over there on the left. Same as that one. This is the base crafting recipe. And then we have the Repelling Ward, which is a ward infused with a Wolfbane Potion. It pushes werewolves away. It repels them from your land. And then we have a Slowing Ward. It's a ward infused with ingredients of a Slowness Potion. It reduces the movement speed of a werewolf, any werewolf, nearby. So they're going to go, you know, maybe they're crippled or something. Slow them down. Slow those werewolves down. They're going way too fast. Way too fast. They're going sanic fast. Got to calm down. And then finally, we have the Weakness Ward, which is a ward infused with the ingredients of a Weakness Potion. It reduces the strength of werewolves nearby, making them weaker and wee little babies. And then you also have additional effects. But wait, there's more. You can add additional effects to charms and wards by adding certain items to them while they are placed. Right-click them with an item in hand to add. Shift, put right, shift plus right-click. Again, words. With an empty hand to remove. So you can uh, add glowstone dust. It'll add light to the charm and ward. You can add a redstone signals to the block that it's attached to. And actually that appears to be it for right now. But I'm pretty sure there's mod, uh, more being added in the mod. Because it's still in development. And then finally here's the craft recipe again. For the Lycanthropy Werewolf Guide. Now right here I have put down a repelling ward. 
You may be curious, how exactly does it work? Well, let me just turn into a werewolf and you shall see. Bam! I cannot get there. I am repelled. Oh, no. Fun if I turn back out of a werewolf. We're, we're fine. Perfectly fine. And then we have the slowing ward, which slows werewolves down. As you can see, I'm not going as fast. And actually, I think I need to get rid of, of this thingy. Oh, nope, not that one. That one. There we go. And then we have a weakness ward, which, there you go again, applies weakness whenever we are a werewolf. And it's gone. But that is pretty much it for the werewolf mod. Uh, go download it. Go download it now. It should be compatible with pretty much every mod out there. Probably not, but should be very, very few incompatibilities. You can run around, punch things to death, eat little rabbits. You know, you, you now have a reason to go and kill the little rabbits that just roam the world. Because before, you're just monsters. But now, you have a reason to. It's because you're werewolf, you know? You're abtastic. You gotta go hunt down Edward and eat Bella. And that's the goal of the game now. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to give it a like on your way out. It would be all coming out, and I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you see more videos like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button, and you'll be notified as soon as more come out. But, oh, crap. Oh, oh, werewolves do not like water. But uh, if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button, and you'll be notified as soon as more come out. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see, I think I said that twice. Uh, whatever, words. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!